So on my home screen, I have just a couple of wid widgets. I've got the Flipboard widget. Flipboard is pretty good. Um, you can integrate your Facebook, Twitter feeds along with the feeds from other media organizations. So you can see here I've got some Facebook stuff. Um, stuff from the Independent, ESPN, Facebook. Flipboard's quite a nice app. Uh, down here I've got the Met Office app. It's great for weather forecast in the UK. So I can go in today. I can see what the weather for today is going to be. Uh, along the bottom I've got Gmail, Chrome, Google Calendar. Google Calendar is pretty good. I use that quite a lot. Uh, Facebook. The People app, which is quite nice as well, and Google Currents. I really, really like Google Currents. I use it quite a lot. Um, so and here I've got my a couple of UK newspapers, with the Guardian, Telegraph, and the Independent. So it's quite a nice way to read stories, and keep up to date. I've also got CNET, Engadget, Android Central, Mashable, The Verge, another good source for tech news, Dry Life, and then just some breaking news stories. So if I go to my apps page, the standard stuff, Google Maps, Google Navigations, the Play Store, YouTube, the Gallery. I've downloaded this camera app because, believe it or not, the, the Nexus 7 doesn't come with its own camera app. Um, Wikipedia, uh, AdSense, Folder Sync. Folder Sync, I use it to sync photographs taken on my Samsung Galaxy S3 and to my Google Drive. And then my Google Drive folder is in sync to the Nexus, so that's great. a great way of getting photos synced between my phone and my tablet and you can take a photo on the, on the phone and through time it'll get synced to my tablet so I can I can view photos on the on a bigger screen I just have a file explorer and um, this one's called ES file explorer it's pretty good and then I have XE currency converter which is uh, one of the main online currency conversion websites Invoice to go I use for my business. Um, I can produce invoices on my phone or on my tablet, um, and it's all it's all cloud based, so I can I can look at them on my PC as well. I have my Google Drive, um, which I just sync some stuff. Sound Sleep is a great little app. Um, it allows me to silence the tablet at night, so I, you set up what time you want it to, the silent mode to start and end which days of the week um, how you want you've totally silent or vibrate only so it's pretty good, I've never had any problems with this um, Eagle Eyes I use for viewing my CCTV Tablet Talk is a little app that I use to sync SMS messages between my tablet and my Galaxy S3 so you can see it here it's pretty good so if somebody sends you an SMS you can actually respond via your, your Google Nexus you can also receive calls if you have a you need a Bluetooth headset Paired with the with the Nexus 7, so you, you can take calls on your tablet if you want. Evernote, yeah, everybody, it's, it's a really useful app. Everything, nearly everybody must be using it at this stage. Team Viewer, it's great for doing remote access to to computers, so I can actually control my desktop PC from anywhere.
But there you go. Now you can see my that's my desktop PC. And then I have just my settings, a little quick link to that. BT Wi-Fi allows me to use BT Open Zone hotspots. So I have this little app configured with my, my own BT username and password. So whenever I come in range I can I can automatically get connected. And without having to put in any uh, wireless keys or anything, that's really really handy for anybody that's a BT broadband uh, subscriber. Fring is a little app which will scan your network and return the addresses of all the devices currently enabled on the network. SS, SSID, oh, in, in SSID Insider, in SSID, er, yeah, well, it's a little app that for managing wireless networks will show you signal strength and what channels wireless networks are, are running on. Speedtest.net, great little app for testing the speed of your broadband connection. So you can see here, yeah, I'm getting about 4 meg download, 4.5 it's not bad, considering we're quite a remote area. So then I have just links to Flipboard, the Daily Mail, Twitter, TripAdvisor, eBay, Argos, and then just some web links at the bottom.